What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna discuss the differences between how to create a short movie and how to create a vlog. Let's get into it. So I recently had one of my friends to shoot a short movie. You guys already know him, he's Mr. Ty Sheets. My name is Ty Sheets. Um, wait, I don't think Cotter can turn his car. He was Ty Sheets and he just left. A couple months ago I already helped him to shoot his first short movie. You can find the behind the scene video in the top right corner. Now I'm a vlogger for two years now but the whole movie making process was and is still pretty far from me. Last time I learned a lot and I thought I can point out some interesting differences between the two, two genres. Even though the, the product is the same, uh, making a video for an audience to watch, I think these two genres are still two different beasts. To translate this differently, let's talk about like a classical professional guitarist who's enjoying the art of music. Or we can take like a random metal guitarist with fast solos and fast riffs on the stage. Even though they use the same instrument, the genre, the writing process, the speed, the output is all different. So let's go through all the steps of creating a vlog and a short movie. First step is the pre-work. First of all, let's talk about preparation time. When you are working on a short movie, you will need to have a good story. Then you will need to know what is the message of your film. You will need to come up with the characters. And then when you are all done with this, you will need to write a script. After you are done with the script, you will need to start drawing up the storyboard that explains what's happening in each scene. So when did you start working on the story and the script? The Death Dealer has been, um, an idea for years to be honest with you I, the writer Tom Dexter he's had this idea you know that he has like really thought out and well developed <clears throat> over the course of years meanwhile with the vlog life well we just improvise or probably we're gonna sit down and write down all the ideas that we want to discuss next to next to a coffee we just start thinking that what is the message that we want to record and then we're gonna just call around to to see if any of our friends are available just to just to make the vlog a bit happier and we are ready to record in a couple minutes now i will need to mention the scene the place where you're going to record separately before you would even talk to the crew or the actors you will need to go on a location scout you will need to find a place where you're going to record and if this place needs to be rented you will need a fixed date when to shoot your movie well this is way different for vloggers we record where we can and we record when we can if you're familiar with the angles and the framing you will look for the leading lines or or places that can fit your story but this is mainly important like at the cinematic sequence but let's talk about this a bit later when you're trying to find the actors, first you think about your, your budget. Because money will not grow on the trees. So you will need to pay them. Or you can just use actors who are trying to build up their career just like you. And you can use them to do everything pro bono. We got the actors fairly quickly. Um, Brittany Grove, I worked with her before. She agreed to be on it uh, pretty quick. It's always fun working with her. And then the other ones were just people who are interested in reached out after seeing the casting call. Now of course, vlogging is an open forum video diary about your life and your perspective. You will probably film your friends or your family and the biggest question is not who wants to be in your vlog, the biggest question is who wants to stay out. Now the crew. Finding the perfect crew members that are available when you're recording your short movie can easily take up months, even if we're talking about like a one day short movie recording time. You will need people for cinematography, production, light, sound, editing, and typically these are all different people. When it comes to a vlogger, this whole production line changes. We grab the camera, we grab the road mic, we're checking for natural lights, we record and we edit. Aren't you proud of yourself? Now let's talk about the gear. When it comes to a short movie, you want your short movie to be crispy, just like a blockbuster movie. That's why a lot of short movies are recorded with high-end cinema cameras or lenses with higher quality glass or, or a better microphone or good expensive lights. It's just like a restaurant. The more expensive the ingredients are, the more you can sell your food for. As Mr. Casey Neistat said, you should use what you have. If you have a good camera, use it. If you only have your phone, use it. Or if you only have a potato, well, record with it. I mean, my grandma never used a fancy Japanese bluefin tuna. And still, her food was the best. So, just create. 
Before the recording starts, the actors and the director, maybe you, will go through the script on the set. Now it's the time to figure out if there are any major changes to the script, and if it's all good, you guys are ready to shoot the first scene of the day. This is when you will follow the finalized script and the finalized storyboard. You have a small timeline, when to do and which scene, and you will follow this until lunch, when you eat. And after that, you will follow it until somebody says, it's a wrap. <laughs> How do you feel about this day so far? Oh, the movie, I think it's going great. We're moving quick and um, we're getting good stuff. And uh, I, I think the action's good. I think the acting is good. That's, I guess it's the, 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 the beauty of rehearsal. Vlogging seems so easy next to this. You have your camera, you have your ideas, and you just run for it. You know that human interaction will spice up your video. What's the problem? Nothing. Just like a cinematic sequence, wrongly named a b-roll, and you do everything a la carte, and your video will end when you say, all right, everybody, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Not yet. When it's a short movie, you often have a separate person for editing, a separate person for color grading, and a separate person for the audio. But depending on your budget, this all might end up on your plate. After a rough cut of the scenes is done, the dialogues, the music and the ambient sounds are added and you are ready to shorten most of the scenes. You will render your video and you will send it to the cinematographer, to the co-director or to the producer and after everybody comes back with the feedback, you will be ready to edit your video again. <laughs> after you re-edit for the fourth time and you fulfill all the expectations, your short movie will be done to be shown to the public. Right now is December. When do you think you will launch this, this short movie? I would like to launch it in February or March, early 2020. Now, with vlog life, you don't have this trouble. You take your SD card, you plug it in your computer, and you start editing to have the story that you want out of your footage. Once that you think that your video is done, you will share it to your mom or probably one of your friends who will loudly laugh on all of your jokes. Whenever you feel all right. Mm -hmm. Hit the space button. It's not something scary, is it? And the video is ready right away to be shared. So now that I shared the typical process of how to make a short movie or how to make a vlog, it's up to you which direction you want to go. You can go to school and study to become a producer or a director, or you can just grab your camera and start your first vlog today. And just for clarification, with this video I don't want it to offend any of the short movie makers or any of the vloggers. As I said at the beginning of this video, both of these genres are two different beasts. One is creating a professional looking short movie that is the end product of 5, 10 or 50 people that were working hard for like 3 or 4 months. Or creating something where you don't focus as much on the details, but you upload at least once a week or maybe daily. Now imagine if you were a daily vlogger and you would draw up your storyboard every single day. Nah. Alright, so let me know in the comment section below if you'd rather be a YouTuber with 10 million subscribers or a director with 5 full length movies or, or just a YouTuber with 1 million subscribers but occasionally making short movies. Actually this is something that I really want to know so plug back the keyboard in your grandma's old computer running on Windows 98 and start typing a comment. <laughs> Also, don't forget the like button and hit subscribe with the pink snow shovel and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.